We are doing Kris Jenner makeup today. Why? Because I want to. I always love Kris Jenner. She always catches my eye on social media. She has such a dark, sparkly eye, and I'm going to show you how to achieve it and how with certain little tweaks, you could tone it down for your look and your lifestyle. But this is All Saint, and we are doing Kris Jenner. Here's a photo. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm a 25 year professional makeup artist. I worked in Hollywood, so I'm here to help you look good close up. And if you're in photo or video, how to look good uh, on HD. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of 23 videos on mature technique. You can always go into the description of literally every single solitary YouTube video I do, and you can find my masterclass link and go and watch the quick intro video. Okay. My lips are on fire. <laughs> I'm not always a fan of Saint cheek and lip on lips. Now, you can follow a lot of beautiful Saint artists and I would say a majority of Saint artists, and I think there's over 30,000 of us, a majority are under 40 easily. And a lot of these women still have youthful lips and many of them have lip fillers and I have a little myself, I'm not against lip filler, but when you have youthful lips and a little lip filler, you really don't always need um, lip liner. Sometimes you do, but but you, you get that full pillowy lip and you get, you get natural highlight and natural contour shadows from a fuller three-dimensional lip. So you can almost put any cheek and lip on in the entire Saint collection. It's going to be really pretty on a youthful lip. But as we start to flatten out a little bit, as we start to get more wrinkly, and as we start to lose color in our face, we just don't have that vibrancy as when we were younger, a lot of the Saint cheek and lip go very dull, very flat, not pretty. So I literally just tried on four colors. I tried Pop, I tried Venice, I tried um, J uh, Jolene, which I don't know if we even have that right now. I tried Boardwalk, I tried Desert Sunset, which is on my cheeks. I love Desert Sunset. Nothing looked good. I had to keep taking it off and starting over. So this lip, just so you know, is NYX line loud and ambition statement it's kind of this this is for my warmer girls it's kind of a terracotta but maybe with a little rose beige it's not super orangey at all it's not orangey at all i have that i have a little bit of oh you know what i had to go in with because everything got so dull pineapple does anyone have pineapple Pineapple is so pretty because it instantly warms up anything. So I think I had Desert Sunset and I went really beige. So then I did some Boardwalk and that went kind of peachy but too light. So then I put this over it. Look at this, it's a gloss. See, pure yellow, pure yellow. But you put it here and it's like a beautiful warm gloss and it warms up anything you put it on. So I love it. I love pineapple. Okay, we're doing Kris Jenner today, but first up, the reason I chose Kris Jenner, first of all, is because I just love how she does her eyes. She's always done her eyes the same way. She kind of has a signature look. I really feel like most of us can pull it off too, so I'm gonna show you how to do it today and how easy it is. But first of all, I wanted to address just a couple things. Number one, my sweet, customer Kimberly sent me this. She gives this, she has one herself, but she gives this to people in her life who are very, very special to her. And it's a sweet angel overlooking these beautiful friends, having tea or coffee together, forever friends. Kimberly signed the bottom. Like, I mean, I am so not worthy. How do I deserve anyone's friendship out there? So Kimberly, this means the world to me. And you know what else I loved about Kimberly? First of all, we've had some beautiful emails back and forth. And I just know Kimberly is going to be in my life for eternity. But she even asked me, like, she sent me a picture. And she's like, is this your style? If you don't like it, I won't send it. I won't be offended. And I'm like, oh my gosh, anything you would send me would mean the world to me. 
You know, I could be like Swedish modernism and I would put this in my house because it, it, the story, it's the story. It's so beautiful and colorful and my favorite thing in the world is coffee. And what do I always say to you guys? Let's pretend like we're sitting and having coffee together where I'm in your house and I'm doing your makeup. So thank you, Kimberly. I really got choked up when I opened that and your beautiful Valentine letter to me was beautiful too. She sent me a beautiful card. Secondly, I received an email from someone who said that I was being, um, they felt I was being rude. I appreciate the email. I really do. Rather than put it in comments, um, I, I see your heart and your intent. And I can see how you construed r being rude behavior. I can see that. So I had made a comment in my last Saint email that, you know, I've come out with my new Demi video and it's for anyone who's my personal customer. But because I have almost 10,000 personal customers, I can't possibly sign in to my back office every time someone emails me and says, hey, can you send the new Demi video? So what I've asked you to do, which I think is a very simple ask, is take a screenshot of an order you've placed with me that has my name and or name or my artist number or even a thank you email. I send everyone a thank you email. You could even send me the thank you email um, because that's proof that you shopped with me. And she thought it was rude and not good customer service that I said I can't check the back office for everyone who e e emails me. I mean, I'm up to like a thousand emails requesting this Demi video. I have multiple jobs. Saint is not my only job. Saint's my number one job and it's my favorite and I love you all so much, but I do not have time to go into my back office and look up a thousand people. I'm, and maybe she didn't realize how many emails I was getting flooded with every day. But if that sounded rude, I apologize. Your business means everything to me. Most of you know, I get back to you very quickly, except on weekends. And then I have to play catch up, but I get back to you very quickly. I help you troubleshoot. I just helped a woman with, I put together a whole look for her, for her, her son's wedding coming up. I mean, I think I go way above and beyond the average saint artist. And so I'm sorry if that sounded rude, but I really do not have time to look everyone up. So you do have to take a screenshot of an order you place with me or forward a thank you email I've sent to you. And that's the same with seasons. If you know your season, if you don't know your season, don't email me. But if you know your season, I have created four PDFs of all the Saint makeup that fits into the four seasons. So you kind of know how to stay in your season. I only did four, okay? There's no way I could do 12 to 16. I think we're up to like 16 seasons. So. And a lot of them overlap. So, you know, we get the gist out of just the four original seasons, okay? And I'm happy to send that to you if you give me a screenshot with my name on it, an invoice with my name, my ID number, or even a thank you note that I have sent you, or even the original Demi video. Some of you have shown me um, an original Demi video I sent you a long time ago. And so of course you're my customer if you have my original Demi videos. I had two of them and now I just condensed it all into one and I think I go into some better techniques um, because I've been with Saint over two years now, okay? So I apologize. I, I apologize for if I sounded rude. I hope you understand. Sometimes I think too, um, some people can even say, oh, you're getting a little prideful or you could use a little humility or humble pie and I have to check myself okay I want you to know that every comment you send every email you send um I have to really check myself and ask is this true was it taken out of context was I being prideful and sometimes true I mean pride can slip into anyone's life and, and forgive me if it does um I'm not a super humble person but I I, I try <laughs> With God's help, I try. But I wonder if this was a man. You know, if we had, like Wayne Goss, you know, he's so lovely. I've been doing makeup much longer than Wayne Goss. I've been doing it 30 years. I'm also a 56 year old woman. So I understand menopause and aging skin and all the things, right? Would you tell Wayne Goss he was being rude? 
I don't think so. I think we treat women differently from men. I think when a man speaks with authority and expertise and he sets a boundary and people don't follow that boundary and expect the same outcome, even though they didn't follow the, the rules, I don't think anyone would tell him he was rude. I think they would respect his rules and his boundaries, but it's different with women, isn't it? I think we all know it is, but I want you to know I do check myself. I do check in with God and I'm like, oh, was I a jerk? Was I prideful? I guess I, you know, so I want you to know I take all your comments super seriously and your emails to me. If you take time to personally email me that you think I'm being rude, I, I really weigh that carefully. I don't want you to think that I just delete it and blow you off as you're having a bad day. I don't, okay? Um, one more thing is, oh, we talked about a Zoom party and I said that I really needed someone who has a large um, network of family and friends because you figure if you invite 40 people, 10 might show up, right? And then a couple of you came into my emails and said, well, what if a bunch of us invited people? Like maybe you don't have 40 people to invite, but maybe you have... 12 or maybe you have 20 and what if four or five of you got together and committed to inviting to one zoom in march and you each open a party each one of you open a party and you do that through me you can just email me and we can open a party but it has to be after march 1st and then i could set out i can send out one zoom link to all let's say five of you i can send out one zoom link and now you're you got to get busy you got to invite 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 and then that way we can have a bigger funner zoom because we'll have more party invites does that make sense um that could be a lot of fun so reach out to me color match by michelle gmail.com if you do think you have about maybe 12 to 20 people and you would like to open a party. And then at, what we would do is I would remind people often in the Zoom that they're gonna shop through the link of the person who invited them. Now it's all going to me, it's all my business, but in, you get the product credits. So if you have 10 people buying Saint, you get those product credits. I make commission, you get the product credits. Win, win, I love it. Otherwise, um, when people shop through my party link, I get the the product credits, but I love, I love giving out product credits. So everyone on the Zoom will know that they will become my customer. And that, again, I can troubleshoot, I can help them with further orders, I can help them when we change from, you know, winter to summer and we're going a little bit more tan or deeper. I will take care of the people you invite um, to my business. I will take very good care of them and then you get to earn the product credit. So let me know if that works for you. One more thing, we talked about, I can't remember, I guess that's it. I will say this, I have on a beautiful skin tint today by Tinted, and it was so pretty, And but I but I did it just to kind of even me out and give me a pretty glow, and then I was gonna go in with Sandy. Sandy's my new main co color, and it looks great. This is Sandy, it's more golden, and it's my main color. I think we can all agree my skin looks nice, right? Looks nice, looks nice. Not close up, not close up. I have millions of microscopic flakes all over my face. Okay, well this is looking a little bit better right now. Maybe it's melted in. It's it's looking good through the T-zone. You know what I think, the TCA peel, I think I'm still slowly exfoliating in my outer face. And, and yesterday was the first day I did sex appeal. And then today I did a, a, a physical scrub that a friend on TikTok sent me. Uh, okay. All right, my T-zone, this whole area here is looking beautiful. So it's just the outside of my face that's ugly. <laughs> but it just goes to show you, you have to be so careful because on social media, makeup, could be so beautiful and then what does it look like close up in person is the person like chunky and flaking everywhere it's looking good it really is okay so anyway 
let's do some eye makeup. And I'm gonna put a timestamp on this, so if you don't wanna hear me yammer, 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 I don't blame you, um, then we, you can jump right to the tutorial. I wanna say also, I, this didn't end up in my Monday review this week, but doggone it, this is so good. It's cause I just used it today, so it didn't make the Monday review, so I'll do it in a couple weeks. But these are those Wow hair powders, and this one is dark blonde because I knew I was going with a base of 7GB or 7NN. I think she did a mixture. I, all my gray is growing in, but my gray is only right here, here and here, this temple, and then like this one little spot back here. Everywhere else, it's just like one strand. So it looks like a little piece of tinsel. So I went in today and I took this and you just kind of tap it and then you go in to the edge of the roots and holy moly, if that doesn't co totally cover the gray. And I've seen this for years and I was gonna get a few different shades for my pro kit, except I almost never do pro work anymore. I'm almost at home full-time content creating, right? I am blown away by this color wow. It's won many awards. I've seen it for years, but I was gray blending for seven years. Well, now I'm not gray blending anymore. In fact, I'm gonna do my own roots in about two weeks. I'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting for the gray to grow in a little bit more before I do this. I might do this in a week. And then in the meantime, I have this, and it really grips your gray and it stays in place for days until you wash it out. I had to mention that because I'm blown away by it. Okay, I felt like there was something else I wanted to say. I guess not. Okay, let's get started. So the, the thing I noticed about Kris Jenner is she always has a super heavy rimmed eye. So if you are someone that doesn't like a really super heavy rimmed kind of smoky eye, this looks not for you, but we can adapt it a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do and I gotta be honest, I don't know how well these, I don't know if my same brushes are clean, but um, I'm gonna start with a color called Pup. And I feel like Pup is really neutral. And the, the picture I showed, and we'll check in again with it in a minute, the picture I showed, Chris wears her cheeks and lips very neutral. Um, and her eyes are always very neutral, um, unless it's a really, really special occasion and she might do a fun pop of color. But watch this, we're taking it, see how I kind of swirl it? And then I tap it a little bit. And then looking in the mirror, I'm going in the crease, but a little bit higher. See that? Now I would probably use Bubba on myself. So if you have Bubba and you like a warmer eye, I've seen Chris do a warmer eye, but today we're doing neutral because this is one of those eyes that anyone can do. So this is Pup. And what I like about Pup is it's kind of on the neutral cool side. See that? It's like a beautiful taupe. And if you have a hooded eye, same thing. You're going to look straight into um, the mirror and just go back and forth right above your lash line. As many of you know, I used to have a hooded eye and then I had an upper bluff. So I really, I mean, that's so, that's even a pretty eye right there. Like this is a pretty eye, right? Just like this. You don't even have to put anything else with it. Look how pretty that is. Now, she also goes under her eyes quite a bit. And this is where many of you can really adjust this look. You don't have to go as crazy heavy, but she goes real thick and heavy under the eye with a medium shade first. So that's why I'm putting Pup under the eye but it really grounds the eye and it really rounds it out. I really love this look. Now you could do this look for every day if you're more of a, a, a makeup person, but other than this, it's really, this is a really a beautiful, I think an evening look or even a, a great look for special occasion, okay? And I'm just taking this little bullet brush. This is our eyeshadow brush, so it's a fluffy and then like a little bullet 
I don't know the name of our eyeshadow brushes, so forgive me for that. Um, it doesn't matter because they don't put the name on the brush, so it wouldn't matter if I did know the name. I just, I don't know them. Okay, again, that right there is so pretty. Just that. Love it. Just that. I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this pretty color, which I think that is Sabrina. And she always has, by, by Shannon, Chris always has, see how I roll the brush? Because I really like to coat it and then I tap it a little bit. So she always has a nice little light color in that inner eye because when you get close up to someone, it's got a beautiful luminous quality to the inner eye and it kind of brings light to the eye, especially because some of us kind of get a little hollowed out right there. So we can kind of brighten that eye up. Not nice. See, really pretty. Okay, and then what's left on the brush? You could you could put the tiniest bit right below the under arch of your brow, just that little bit if you want. Kind of bring a tiny little highlight without looking like I don't. I'm not gonna say, but. I get myself into trouble when I say things, but yeah, we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Now we've got that beautiful pup. We have nothing on our eyelid. Chris doesn't often wear a real special eyelid color. In fact, it might even be that she just has pup on her eye, but I'm going to take this color here because it feels kind of neutral. Let me see what this is called. Oh, this is Riviera. I'm gonna take a little Riviera, just a little bit, and I'm gonna do a little tiny bit. So I'm not even really doing a whole eyelid color. I've already got a little pup on the eyelid. I would call this almost like, Riviera could be like, I don't know, is that like a soft champagne gold or could we call it an antique silver? But it's it's very pretty. It's definitely a, a shimmer. I just don't know quite what I would call it. Maybe, maybe a slight gold champagne, but there's no yellow in it. Equally, there's no real silver. It's almost a neutral shimmer and I just like it right there. That's it, okay? Now, before we start building up the under and the outer crease, I'm going to go in. Oh darn, which is Black Friday? I love our eyeliner. Do you love our eyeliner Black Friday? I love it. Unfortunately, these are, oops. These are so tightly magnetic, which I guess is great. Okay, that's Salem, so that's a shadow. Oh, I have two Salem's. Well, super. Okay, well, guess what? We're gonna do Salem, we're just gonna pretend it's Black Friday. But what I would normally do is I would do Black Friday because Black Friday is um, kind of a cream, but it doesn't stay creamy. It turns to a powder. I love Black Friday. Let me know in comments if you have ever tried Black Friday and what you think of it. Yeah, I don't have it in, anywhere. Who knows? I probably need to order another one. Okay, I'm going to take a... I'm just going to take the Sephora brush just to be quick. Okay. And you got to be real careful with black shadow, but... Chris definitely uses black around the eyes. And I'm going to just press it all along the lash line. Look how good that looks. See how I'm just like pressing, not blending, I'm literally just pressing. Look at that. I love it. When you do black around the eye, it's gonna make your iris look lighter. I really though wish I had Black Friday because it's more of a cream to powder, but 
we get the gist. Also, Salem could possibly be a little messier. You know how lots of times I'll do my eyes first and then I do complexion? Well, because we're just doing eyes today, I did all my complexion and lips and cheeks and everything. And then I, so this is where you have to be super careful with black eyeshadow because it could go all over your beautiful concealer or your demi. Okay, so far it's staying in place. That's impressive. But that's why I like Black Friday is it's not going to drop all over your face. Okay, and then I've seen, I've watched two of her makeup artists now. One is Nikki Makeup, who taught me my favorite way to do eyes with only pencils. And you do not have to wing it out, okay? And we're, that, we're not going to keep it that far out, but I'm just going to do a little bit, okay? Because watch what we're going to do in a little bit. You just want to place, you do not have to do a wing this long. You don't even have to do a wing at all. Okay, I'm not dipping back in the black, but I am gonna take this brush. Oops, hold on. Shoot, when I let the video go over 20 minutes, it's really hard to download. Okay, um, I did not re-dip, but I am gonna take a little bit of that black and blend it under my lash line, but not all the way in. I kind of take it to the center of the eye. Do you see how that's really, Oh my gosh, it's really defining the eye. Look at that. And this is why Kris Jenner is always so beautiful because she does a lot of black around her eyes. And some of you might think that you can't pull that off, but you won't know till you try. Okay, now I would love to take the shade Coco or Coal, I'm sorry, Coal, but I don't know where it is. So we're gonna use Coco instead, okay? And this is cocoa. It's a really, really dark brown, but coal. So cocoa is good if you have bubba or if you want it to be a little warmer, cocoa is good. But coal is this dark, but more of a black brown or a cool brown. And coke, uh, coal is really good for women who are more winter, summer. They want that more true uh, neutral eye. Okay. So watch this. I'm going to take this little teeny tiny bullet brush. A lot of the Saint brushes are not tiny enough for detail for me. So this is why we're using BK Beauty 210. Okay. And we're going to roll it. See, I'm rolling, rolling, get off the excess and then watch this. We're going to go over that Salem And we're not, I'm not taking it all the way to the inner eye, but I'm just going over the Salem and then watch when I want to go out here. Did you see how I was doing this? And do you see how I switched the brush? Oh, crud. Look what I just did. And then I switched the brush and now I'm doing this. Comes off easily. Okay. Do you see that? Chris always has... softness. She never has harsh lines. And that's the trick for really beautiful, dark, mature eyes is there's no harsh lines. It's all, it's all soft edges. And then you can take a little bit of this cocoa and go under the eye. Look at that. Freaking Kris Jenner. We love you, Kris Jenner. Okay. So watch this. We're going to do it on this side. I'm going to kind of start in the middle and I'm going to take it not all the way to the inner eye because we don't want that inner eye getting dark. And then watch, I'm turning it this way and then watch, we're going to come out. And then we're going to come under the eye here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now I need somewhere to go. I'm going to Bible study tonight. I can't wear this. I go to a Bible study of women who literally, I'm the only one wearing makeup in the whole room of women. I'm gonna have to take this beautiful look off. It makes me sad. <sighs> look at this eye makeup. Freaking love it. Okay, now watch what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna go back to Pup. Remember the first smoky taupe we did, this Pup color? Or it could be Bubba or anything. And we're gonna go back under the eye because she wears it thick. And this is where you don't have to do this if you don't want, but it's what really gives it that Kris Jenner look. She goes thick under the eye. And by putting this lighter color over these darker colors, it's going to slightly, slightly soften that darkness. Y'all, look at how green my eyes look. Stop it right now. This is my favorite look. Did we just do my favorite eye look ever in the history right now? Kris Jenner, did we just do this? Yes, we did. Okay, now, you know my favorite eye pencil is the Gwen Stefani Give. Part of this dark eye is also doing the rim doing the waterline, okay? Otherwise your waterline is gonna look fleshy. And another thing, ladies, that is not fun to hear, and I speak this in love and it's happening to me, this is how I know, as we get older, our waterlines start to collapse. So whereas Gracie has a really young, tight waterline, and I can't even see her upper waterline at all when she speaks to me, Ours is starting to collapse. So sometimes I notice I'll wear really pretty eye makeup and I see myself in a video and all I see is this fleshy waterline. And I'm like, no. So I'm always doing a dark waterline because I think it hides the fact that we have aging eyes because our waterline is slowly collapsing. Isn't that a freaking bummer? Why, Lord? Why? Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit on that lower rim. Hello, Kris Jenner, do you see that? Did we just transform right then and there into Kris Jenner? She always does her waterline. I could not love this more. This is my jam with this peachy lip. I love this. Okay. Now you don't have to do this part, but I'm going to the tiniest, tiniest bit. I'm going to do this. Um, and Nikki, Nikki will do this. Nikki make makeup is you can take a little bit of the cocoa and then watch this just in the outer crease. Watch that. We're building a little bit into the outer eye. And it, look at that, it made my eye look even bigger and it gave me a little more depth. Do you see that? Look, okay, and we'll do a little over here. Now this is my tougher eye because I have two different eyes. Most of us do have two different eyes. Just doing a little bit, look at that. A little bit, a little bit in the outer crease, taking it out to kind of that wing. See this, see how this eyebrow comes out more? So this, I have more space and this collapses more like this. So I have less space to play with. So it's always a challenge to make both the eyes look the same. But do you see what I'm doing here? You're filling in kind of this little outer triangle. It might be a little darker on this side, huh? That's okay. Okay, and then you're gonna go back in with your original brush, and I'm not redipping it in pup. There's probably still pup on here. And we're just gonna go, watch this, go back and forth. But see how I'm only keeping, I'm not taking it way in here because I don't wanna bring any of that darkness on the inner eye. See how the inner eye is light and bright? We want the darkness as we age, the darkness can stay in the outer eye and on the rim, but we don't want a lot of dark on the inner eye. It will hollow us out. So see how that's now more blended than this one? So just take that brush 
and I'm not taking it past the pupil. I haven't taught eye makeup in a while and I gotta tell you, it is fun. It is really fun. Oh my gosh, I don't even have mascara on yet. Now, Chris always wears lashes, but I gotta be honest, I love this without lashes. What do you think? Would you wear lashes with this or no? I feel like maybe if I was really truly getting in a gown and going on a red carpet, I would wear lashes, but lashes are gonna block all that beautiful blending and eyeliner, and I love seeing it. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do mascara. And then that way you can see, you already know this is gonna look good with lashes, but this way you can see how it looks with just mascara. Because there's a lot of you who don't like to wear lashes, or you have you know trouble seeing, and the, the lashes can just be too hard to put on. Although I, I do believe I can teach anyone in the world lashes. But some of you just don't even like the look of fake lashes. You actually like just to do a mascara. You know, there's a lot of professional makeup artists in Hollywood that don't like to do fake lashes. Or if they do fake lashes on the starlets, they're all using Lashify. And I'll come back and do more looks over the next couple months. I'll do more, and you can tell me too. You can tell me in comments like, oh, Michelle, did you see Jessica Chastain at the Oscars? I loved her makeup, could you do that? You can request a celebrity makeup. You have to give me an actual event that they went to so I can look it up. But I saw Kris Jenner a couple weeks ago. I can't remember. Oh, she was in France. She was in France and her photo caught my eye and I thought, you know what? I love Kris Jenner. I have always loved her. Even back when she was married to Robert Kardashian, I thought she was so beautiful. I've always loved Kris. Yes, she's had a lot of work done, but who cares? Good for her. She gets to do it her way, doesn't she? She gets to do it her way. Her body, her choice. We have to really stand behind that. That doesn't just count for reproductive rights. It counts for faces and bodies too. Her body, her choice. We need to stop being so judgmental. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I can't go to Bible study looking like this. They're gonna... <laughs> They're gonna think I'm gonna take a job on the streets later tonight, just kidding. I am feeling cute. I am seriously feeling cute. It's so cute too, because I've been with my husband 30 years. We're about to ce celebrate 29, but we dated a year and a half before we got married. I guarantee you I'm gonna go into the kitchen and he's gonna hear me because his office is by the kitchen. And he's going to be like, oh, honey, I got to talk to you about something. And he'll come in and he'll go, whoa, big eyes. Because he loves it. He lo But he likes it when I wear small naked eyes, too. And that's when you got a good man. He likes you no matter what. Okay? Oh, my gosh. Can I say something else? A lot of you, when I do a color match, you'll ask me, why didn't you include an illuminator? Because look at this. I have no illuminator on. Do I need any more glow? I mean, if I put any more glow on my face, they're going to be able to spot me from a satellite. So, and, a, and again, Desert Sunset is a gloss formula. Gloss formulas don't stay on as long for most women. If your face eats up makeup, the glosses are not going to stay on as long, but you could do demi. You could abs absolutely do a really pretty pink R5 demi cheek or R05, which is a little bit more corally peach, and then you could do a gloss over it, and you don't need illuminator because you've got a beautiful gloss blush over a satin blush or over a demi. Um, you know how much I don't like Frenchie because Frenchie's just so flat and un unflattering, but you put 
rose gold over it, it's beautiful. You put pearl over it, it's beautiful. Frenchie's so flat and matte that it needs an illuminator over it, but most of our blushes don't. Look at that. I do not need an illuminator. I am glowing and I love it. Oh my gosh, I love this eye makeup. I love it. So remember, I have a little bit of Sabrina on here. My whole crease and a little bit of my eyelid is pup, but you could do this exact same look with Bubba. It'll be warmer. Um, Bubba would be beautiful with cocoa, which is what I used. But if I wanted to make this look even a little bit cooler, just a tiny bit cooler, I could have used coal. But you are going to use Black Friday or even I'm impressed with how well that Salem did. I'm really impressed. And then, of course, a really good black eyeliner for that waterline. Because look at that. Look at how light and green my eyes look when we put all that black around it. Okay? I hope this was fun. Let me know any celebrities you'd like to see in the comments. But let me know what specific event you've seen them at. Because this is what I do on TikTok. I recreate looks on TikTok. And I've never done that here on YouTube. And I think I'd like to start. And I can do it with all different types of makeup. I could do it with drugstore. But I'd like to start doing it with Saint to show you how you can mimic what the celebrities wear using nothing but Saint. And look at how beautiful. I mean, look at my skin. Look at this. This is why Saint's my number one. Anytime you see me talking about another makeup on TikTok or Instagram and you come into comments and you're like, do you still like Saint? Yes, it's my number one. It always will be because look at this. It's so pretty. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you Saturday for the huge skincare comprehensive video, how to reverse just neglect how to reverse sun damage. We are going to talk about all the things, how to make mature skin look glowy like this so that you can feel beautiful in your skin at any age. I don't care if you're 50, 60, 70. I just had a testimonial this week of someone who is, is she 82? And then another gal who's 74 and they each emailed me this week saying, thank you. I finally love my skin. You've helped me so much with my skin. Y'all, that means the world to me. Someone in their 70s and 80s who loves their skin. This is why I do what I do, okay? God loves you. I love you too. Bye for now.